Hi ho there friends, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today I'm going to make a quick little video on how to caulk some baseboard and shoe mold. So let's get started. First of all guys, I want to talk about the caulk that I'll be using today. It is a latex uh, caulk in the color white and it is paintable. And this stuff here you can find at any of your home improvement stores. And uh, there used to be some stuff called White Lightning. Um, that was like the standard that everyone used. And uh, can't find that anymore sometimes in the home improvement stores. But this stuff here is pretty much equivalent. It's just a white latex caulk, okay? It says it has a 40-year life on it. But for interior trim and stuff, this is what I like to use because it will skin over in about 30 minutes or so. If in, So you can go ahead and start painting. So bring the camera right on down here. I'm just going to show you a quick little tip here. Uh, actually, let me show you one more thing. With the tube of caulk in the caulk gun, I cut the ever so small tip here. Let me squeeze a little bit out so you can see how much is actually coming out. See how small that little bit of caulk coming out of there is? Very small, okay? That's the way you want it, okay? I'm gonna wipe that off with a rag. Notice in this hand, I have a damp rag, okay? I wanna have that with me, and I'll show you the reason for that here in just a minute. It's for keeping this nice and clean, and keeping this hand clean, all right? So we're gonna come down here. You can see where we stopped at. See where our baseboard didn't quite pull up tight to our panel wall here, okay, in between the studs. So all these little gaps here, here and there, we'll caulk all that up and they won't even be as noticeable afterwards. Any, uh, in case the shoe bowl didn't pull up quite tight, so you can see there's just a little bit of gap right there. Paint would probably fill that. But just in case it doesn't, I want to go ahead and put a bead of caulk through there before I put my final coat of trim paint on here. So if you want to move back just a little bit, I'm going to stand up here. I'm going to do a section like from right here to right here on both the baseboard and the uh, shoe mold, okay? Now the nail heads, we've already filled those with some painter's putty, okay? And I think I got a couple videos on here on how to use painter's putty. That actually works pretty good doesn't shrink in very much. Right quick light, we're gonna put the tip down. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze and drag. And, ooh, I made a big mess right there. I knew I would since I'm trying to make a video. Right there, we'll squeeze a little bit more into that crack there. We'll wipe this excess off right quick. Okay, now guys, with your wet finger, wipe your finger off nice and wet. Just drag that across there, just like so. And look at there, you got a nice, neat line of caulk, okay? And if you have a little bit of too much on there, rake it one more time, and you have a nice, tight line of caulk in there. Let's go right down here on the shoe mold and do the same thing. And this one, we'll just move it really fast because we know there's nothing that really needs to be filled up that wide. Finger, wet finger, drag it right down through there. And guys, that right there, it just don't get much better than that, guys. Okay, folks, I hope you found this quick little video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care. Happy caulking.